Hey everybody, welcome hey back. Today we're going to show you how to transform these simple terracotta pots. How to give them a vintage feel, a French country accent or a rustic edge. So you can treat yourself to a change of scenery right in your front door and you're going to feel like you're in the south of France. <laughs> I love it there. <laughs> Me too. So let's get started. Let's do it. Let's do it. You'll need a one and a half inch bristle brush, acrylic paint, a sander or sandpaper. We use half sage green, half pale blue to make this fresh and bright turquoise. We are in love with that color. You don't need water. The terracotta pot is quite porous. It absorbs the paint right away and basically dries as you apply. The pot should feel slightly damp under the touch. You don't need to wait for it to dry completely. And now let the fun begin. We're using an electric sander, but you can use regular sandpaper. Sand the area where the pot would normally get the more wear and tear. And in just seconds, your pot will look like ages old. So many colors, endless possibilities. You will need a one and a half inch bristle brush, a foam brush, acrylic paint, vanilla, ivory and white, a sander or sandpaper, Mod Podge, a graphic, water, and a rack. Apply paint with uneven strokes. You want to make it look old and rugged. For that, we use three different shades. Vanilla, ivory, and white. Don't apply too much pressure on your brush. The terracotta absorbs the paint right away. Once it is applied, you can't really dissolve or change it. So we recommend to do it a little bit at a time until you feel happy with the result. Now, time to age it some more. The pot should feel damp from the paint. Use your electric sander or sandpaper and sand those areas that would normally chip away and show signs of wear and tear. And voila, a beautiful old looking pot. Flip the image before you print on regular paper. Make sure to use an inkjet printer. Choose where you want to transfer the graphic. Apply a generous amount of Mod Podge directly onto the pot and place the graphic face down. Press and smooth. Let it dry overnight. Use a rack to wet the paper and rub it off the pot and see the wonderful results. A big thank you to the Graphic Fairy. You can find a ton of amazing free graphics on her website. So go check it out. You'll need a one and a half inch bristle brush, acrylic paint, white Spanish olive, burnt amber, ivory, water, a stone texture spray paint we used Kryon. First we're going to whitewash the pot to give it an instant old look. Use lots of water and very little paint. Keep the strokes in one direction. The paint will dry immediately. Huh, it already looks good. Now spray the stone finish. We want to simulate natural moss, so spray the area where moss would normally spread. Let it dry overnight. Now we're going to paint the moss and dirt so we can achieve that unique rustic look in minutes. On the spread and now dried stone texture, apply Spanish olive green to imitate the moss. There is no moss without a little dirt. For that, we'll dab some burnt amber. Maybe add a little ivory to blend it in? This is the fun part. Let your artistic child guide you. A little at a time until you absolutely love the results. <laughs> 